Hi everyone, welcome back to part 9 of my hard difficulty playthrough for a prototype. In this video we're going to be doing the missions, the stolen body and biological imperative. What's happening to me? They know you carry the infection. They might be using you to produce an antivirus. If we learn what it's doing, maybe I can find a way to help your biology reject it. How? Cut off its food supply. If I'm gonna get Raglan to those bodies, I'm gonna need some armor. Now for this part, I decided to speed up a little bit since not a lot happens where it's just me driving to the abandoned military base so I'll see everyone at the military base. What is that? Just ignore it. I'll deal with it. This won't take long. Just give me some time. At this point in the mission where you are defend Raglan from the infected, good, a good upgrade to have is the ground shot upgrade where you got to hold X and Y to smash the ground with your fists, creating a shockwave. They will not call the infected back for a little while. And another good upgrade to have is the knuckle shockwave upgrade where you hold Y and B to clap your hands together to knock the infected back. Like these two upgrades are pretty good for this mission since it knocks them back for a little while and meaning that they'll be hitting the window less. Now for the hunters in this mission I recommend when there's not, not that many infected is go around look look on the floor for grenade launchers and rock launchers and plop them all in one place so that when, it, when the hunters do come, you can pick one up and shoot a hunter with it.
Once our objective has been completed, just take your time on killing the remaining infected in the in the room with you. Now at this point in the mission, you just need to drive back to the hospital to drop Ragnar off. There is really no need to take out the hydras since you can just drive past them, but I took out one of them just for the fun of it. Because I quite like hydras, I think they're quite cool enemies to take down. They give you loads of health as well at the end when you take them out. Now we're coming to the end of this mission. I hope this has helped you out. I failed on the defend of the glass section a few times, but I edited that out so. Now we're on to the mission. Biological imperative. Now, before this mission starts, I, I would recommend you purchase the upgrade pasty, which is in the disguise section. Now, this upgrade is after you defeat Specialist Cross, and I didn't think of buying it at the time. I couldn't exactly remember what this mission was since it's been a while since I 
play this game. We need a host the parasite can infest. This host will produce antibodies. These antibodies are vital for your restoration, Alex. Take this syringe, locate the correct hunter by genetic type, and inject it. If you inject it, and consume it, it should cure you. Yeah, I've heard that before. This aircraft has a DNA sensor array. I can reconfigure it to find the hunter I need. Now when this mission starts, I would recommend if you got the pasty upgrades to pasty one of the guards where you basically expose them, same with the Alex Mercer when they're not. I try and stealth consume the pilot for a little while, but then it wasn't going to work since there's guards everywhere, so I eventually just pick him up and run away with him. But pasty is definitely the way to go for this section, since it's so much easier rather than having to run away with the pilot and having to consume it and run back meaning that you take more time to do this mission. Cyclic. Collective. Rudder. Hey, I can fly this thing.
I'm back. And that's the second mission completed for this video. I hope this series has helped you so far. Stay tuned for part 10. Thanks for watching. Bye.